In this section, we're going to talk a bit about how traditional cybersecurity is different than security concerns on the blockchain. In traditional cybersecurity that we're all used to, we're very perimeter focused, meaning that we put trusted data and assets behind a very, very strict perimeter. We assume that anybody we let inside that perimeter is trusted, either partially or fully, to see that data and access those resources. And the brunt of our focus goes into making sure that we keep the right people from getting beyond that perimeter, that we only let authorized users through, and that we prevent any attackers or strangers from breaching that perimeter and accessing the data and resources we store behind it. And this is very different from blockchain which runs on a massively decentralized peer-to-peer -peer global network. Just by its very definition, you can see that there is no perimeter on blockchain. And so our security has to come from somewhere else. Our security on blockchain comes from the incredible amount of repetition. The fact that we ask every node to keep the same copy of the ledger and periodically to reach consensus, majority consensus, on what the proper data in that ledger should be. This makes the amount of work that an attacker would have to do practically impossible if they wanted to change, hack, or alter the ledger. Another big difference between traditional cybersecurity and security on the blockchain is with conventional applications and conventional technology, we either develop all our own code or application parameters in-house, or we rely on a single third-party trusted provider uh, who creates that line of business system for us. All the code generally comes from one place, and if we don't write it ourselves, all we have to have is trust and faith in the third-party organization providing it to us. In blockchain, things are a little bit different because oftentimes in blockchain solutions, we're writing smart contracts which call code from other smart contracts, which we may or may not write ourselves and which may come from a variety of different authors. So whereas in the traditional cybersecurity space, we really only need to rely on our own due diligence to write secure code or the due diligence of a third party application provider, in blockchain, we have to expend a lot more time and energy making sure that the code and the contracts we're calling is safe and secure. In other words, we want to make sure that we're not inheriting any security vulnerabilities from other smart contracts that have been written by unknown and potentially untrusted parties. And the final big difference between conventional cybersecurity and blockchain is that in conventional line of business systems, all of our applications either run directly on trusted hardware that we own as an organization, or run on hardware with a high degree of trust provided by a third party, such as Microsoft Azure or Amazon Web Services. In the blockchain world, all of our code runs on untrusted resources, untrusted hardware, that be owned by anyone anywhere in the world. This means that we must ensure that all the trust in a blockchain solution comes from the protocol and the code layer itself uh, because it's a much more massively distributed network and we don't have direct control or access into the hardware that supports it. So there are a lot of differences between conventional cybersecurity and security in the blockchain space that you're going to want to understand before you deploy your own blockchain solutions.